Slavimo život. Život bez socijalnih, društvenih ili spolnih barijera jer svatko ima pravo na slobodu. Upravo je ovo moto najvećeg europskog humanitarnog eventa Live Bola koji podržava ljude sa sidom, a koji je od početka svog djelovanja prikupio preko 13 milijuna eura u borbi protiv ove neizlječive bolesti koja je u nekim društvima, na žalost, još uvijek neprihvaćena. Curry, you know, from the Queen. He was HIV positive and actually he was very quiet about that. He uh, said that publicly one day before he died. What do you think, why? My, it was a different uh, time of... Now I think uh, it, uh, we, we should have the courage to speak about our problems and to, to get help from everybody, from friends, from people around you. It's very helpful to have these events, to make more awareness around us and to face the problem. Everybody has the right to privacy, so whatever uh, an individual's choice is, that's what they should be able to do. But I don't know if, if acceptable is the right word for it. You know, uh, people with any sort of disease, whether even it's cancer or whatever, there should be some, some uh, you know, more empathy in the world. Uz Merkurija od Sida su umrli slavni fotograf Herb Ritz, tenisač Arthur Ashe i glumac Anthony Perkins, poznati kao Norman Bates iz Psiha, dok Magic Johnson s virusom HIV-a živi već preko 20 godina. Inače, 69% ljudi s tim virusom nastanjene u Africi, u kojoj jedna od četiri žene u dobi ispod 16. godine bude silovana, a 51% njih zarazi se Sidom. Na ove zastrašujuće činjenice došla je apelirati Jale Kvek, slavni top. Model. You were the first African model that appeared on the cover of the Elle magazine. Have you ever felt discriminated in a fashion world? Um, I don't know about 100% discriminated because then I don't think I would have been in the business. Um, but definitely there's always criticism, not just because, you know, I'm black, but even other models. The, the, your hair is too short, or it's too long, or it's too dark, or it's too blonde, or your nose is too this, it's too that. I think, you know, we have a long way to go. It's it, it has not changed. Even Asia is a big market, and for the first time, we start to see Asian models on the runway. Before, you never used to see many at all. If you say who is this, you know, who's an Asian supermodel, I don't think anyone really comes to mind. You know. Ale Kvek 86. morala je pobjeći s obitelji iz Sudana u Veliku Britaniju. Četiri godine poslije otkrivena je na tržnici u Londonu i od tada je sudjelovala u svim najvećim modnim kampanjama i nosila prestižne revije, od Victoria Secret do Chanela. How would you describe your journey, you know, from your childhood of poverty in Sudan to the world catwalk? I mean, it was very different, I must say. When I came back after I did a documentary with my mom like seven years ago, it was not even easy to like go back. It was really shocking for me. That's why I was like, I have to put these memoirs growing up in the Civil War in Southern Sudan into writing. For me, I'm just blessed that I grew up in a Dinka culture. Um, my mother was Dinka, my father was Dinka, and I come from nine. I'm one of the five girls, I'm the seventh. So my mother always said, knock it off. Od prizemljene Ale Kvek do najpoznatijeg svjetskog transseksualca Mandele Pur, koja, odnosno koji, je sa 17 godina promijenio spol. I read somewhere uh, your statement where you said that from the day one you knew you were a girl. A what? <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. I, I completely, you know, um, felt like a girl like all my life. Yeah, and, you know, just like know it. Also, you started to making costumes when you were a teenager. How was that acceptable in your family or in a community or everywhere? Um, well, my mother was, it wasn't that accepting, but my mother was schizophrenic and she was hospitalized a lot. So my father felt sorry for me, kind of, and let me do what I wanted to do, kind of. 
a Mandrin prvi posao bio je ispunjavanje erotskih fantazija klijentima u jednom seks klubu. Nakon toga u New Yorku postoje bliska s fotografom Davidom LaChapellom, koju je lansirao u svjetsku orbitu, pa je tako snimila mnoge modne kampanje glumila u filmovima, te se pojavila u spotovima Eltona Johna, Grace Jones i mnogih drugih. What do you think was the thing that decided, you know, that you became David LaChapelle's muse? Um, well, apparently he used to draw um, women that look like me. Was it difficult for you always to be who you are, you know, to fight for yourself, to feel free? Um, well, I feel like I had no choice, so like I just had to do what I had to do and, um, and you know, it made me happy and, you know, it... Um, I got, you know, I guess I guess it wasn't easy when I was. I, f I found it a lot more difficult when I was a child, um, being in the wrong body. Do you usually go out in a high hill? Yes, a little high hill to me, Tony, is like a sport, you know, because I can walk, I can make a. So many things with the high heels, yeah. really. Dancing, I come from Brazil, sweetie. But in Europe, do you feel less free when you go out like Yes, this? yes, yes, because I live in Germany, you know, and then I work uh, a lot, like a drag, and then I have so many things to do. You two are a couple? Yes, we're a couple. We are. Do you usually wear high heels? Uh, every day, you know. You have to work every day if it gets good. Where do you live? In Germany. And in, you know, you are not judged by the people if you go out like this on the street. No. Live your life and have fun. Be yourself. Do you think that people would look you strange if you go out privately in high heels? No, no, no. It's a lot of men uh, working with high heels. You know, when I feel like, I do it. How long were you preparing this outfit? Um, a lot of hours. Uh, prepared um, one week or two weeks. Ludilo live bola prešlo i na mene, pa sam dobila neke nove ideje oko snimanja. Maybe, maybe you two can kiss while I'm speaking in the camera? Nakon glavoroznog programa koji su vodili Mila Jovović, Naomi Campbell i Antonio Banderas, parti se nastavio u gradskoj vječnici u kojoj smo susreli neka domaća lica. You were great. Thank yeah, you for absolutely. helping me. One more kiss for the camera. One more kiss? Yes. Oh, maybe. Došli su muškarci u štiklama, držali su se za ruku sa svojim partnerima. Da li misliš da je to kod nas na Balkanu da će ikada biti prihvatljivo? Ne, ne, mi nemamo taj stepen obrazovanja ni ničega. Ovo nešto što traje 20 godina i njima je prerasno u neku vrstu ruku u karnevalu. Ne možemo vidjeti. Treba će nam još puno vremena ipak. To je drugi nivo obrazovanja, druga... Što je moja baka rekla, druga klasa ljudi. Zato su im večeras ovde i Bill Clinton, i Naomi Campbell, i Karolina Kurkova, urednica italijanskog ovoga Franka Suzana i svi ostali, a nama, nažalost, neće mi... Srpski dizajner Darko Kosić radio je na velikoj reviji otvorenja, dok je hrvatska plesačica Iva Richtermog bila jedna od rijetki koja je prošla u diciju i dobila čas za zaplešeno otvorenju lifebola. Kako je bilo iskustvo večeras biti ovdje među svim ovim svjetskim zvijezdama? Neupisivo, ne samo zbog svjetskih zvijezda, nego općenito zbog cijele atmosfere. Super mi je to što su ljudi toliko otvoreni, unatoč svemu su spremni pokazati svoju homoseksualnost i ne homoseksualnost, sve što drže u sebi i izbace to van. Tajna slobode počiva u hrabrosti. Ovi ljudi imali su hrabrosti na live bolu pokazati tko su, dok neki cijeli život žive u okovima društva koje sudi sve što je drugačije, pa bila to riječ i o bolesti. No svaka budala zna kritizirati, dok voljeti mogu samo rijetki.